Hello all. Today we are going to go over the process of completing a 4506C request form through the United American Mortgage Encompass system while using the template. This video is intended to help with the changes that the IRS is making to the request process in regards to the optical character recognition technology upgrade effective 3-1-2022. If the forms are not completed or executed incorrectly, this will lead to your request being rejected and delaying the mortgage process. Here are a few helpful tips. Common reasons for rejections. Handwritten form or handwritten markings. More than one product listed. You will need to submit a separate form for each product. More than one box checked. More than one person on the 4506C form. If you list two borrowers, two signatures are required. Before we move to the 4506C form, we want to make sure we've entered some of the basic information like the borrower's names, social security number, home phone number, and the current address. Once we've confirmed that, we're going to go to our tax form, which is called Request for Transfers of Tax. Um, from here, I'm going to check the information that I'm going, going to enter. I have a couple of forms. Uh, one is 1040s. 1040 request for married borrowers filing jointly, and the other is a W-2 request for my main borrower. Next, I'm going to select from my template, which is the sheet of paper with the blue arrow. Um, and yes, I do want to copy the information to my form, so go ahead and hit yes. Very important here that your tax form is for is completed. In this case, it's going to be both borrowers. And now I'm going to start to confirm my borrower's information. Uh, on my 1040s, First name is Mary Sue. First name for co-borrower is John F. And I'm gonna again change this to Mary Sue. Confirm the social security numbers for both borrowers. And then confirm the address. In this case, uh, borrowers lived at a different address. So I'm gonna enter the previous address into section four. So that's 4321 Rancher Street in Costa Mesa, California. Apartment 17. Costa Mesa, California. And then box five, I'm gonna leave blank. Our vendor, United American Mortgage, does not need uh, section five completed. Next you see we're gonna order um, form 6A, 1040s. Very important here that I only have one tax form selected. Multiple tax forms will result in a rejection from the IRS. Next we're gonna confirm the years we're going to order. I'm only going to order 2020, so I'm going to delete the previous year. And then at the bottom, I'm going to confirm that I have the phone number in place. Okay. Next, I'm going to add the W-2 for my borrower, my main borrower. And again, I'm going to use the template. And yes, I do want to copy the information. Uh, so in this case, because it's only for my borrower, I'm going to select just borrower as the tax form is for, and I'm going to delete the co-borrower information. Okay. Next, I'm going to confirm the name. And in this case, it's Mary S with just the initial. I'm going to add that into boxes 1A and 3. Confirm the address. In this case, it is the, the new updated address. Section four will remain blank. Section five can remain blank. Uh, now I need to update my transcript area because I'm not ordering 1040 transcripts. I'm gonna uncheck that box and I'm gonna click on W2s, which is box seven. Scroll to the bottom, uh, change my years. So I'm ordering for 2021. So I'm gonna change this to 12, 31, 2021. Delete the previous years and then confirm the phone number at the bottom it's saved. Uh, next, I'm going to enter a fictitious business um, to show how, how that process works. Uh, I'm going to create this one from scratch without the template. So I'm just going to add a new Vera. Okay. Because my borrower is in main position and she will be signing this form, I'm going to select the tax form is for my borrower. That way it tags her signature correctly. Um, and this company is going to be mortgage company. 
we're going to use the employer ID format and enter their IEN number. Uh, box 2A needs to remain blank because there is no spouse for a business. Um, again, enter the mortgage company name. As you can see, I'm entering it in the first name only. When, it, when it's a company uh, name, you can leave it in just one single line. Uh, I'm going to enter the address for the company. Uh, box 4 is going to remain blank. Again, box 5 can remain blank because our vendor does not require it. And in this case, I'm going to order 1120 tax transcripts. So I'm going to select 6A and enter 1120 in the box. I'm going to enter my tax years. In this case, I'm going to order 2020 and 2019. Because this is a business return, I need to enter, enter a title. So this is the president and then the phone number for the business. I'm going to hit save and next we're going to show how these automatically populate uh, for each borrower so let's uh, uh, let's do some confirming here uh, the first one is for both borrowers 1040 transcripts for the year 2020 the next form is my w2 for 2021 for my main borrower and the last one is 1120 transcripts for 2020 and 2019 uh, for a business using the employer ID format. So now going through the e-disclosure process. When disclosing through our Encompass system, all three of those tax forms will be picked up for disclosures and all three of those will be properly tagged depending on how we selected the names from the tax form is for section of each one of those forms. So this allows you to create multiple forms depending on your specific scenario for your file where you can send 1040 requests for your main borrower and maybe W2 request for your co-borrower. You could add businesses, you could add multiple businesses. Um, there really is no limit to the amount of forms you can add depending on your tax scenario. Once my disclosures pop up here, I'm gonna unselect um, all of the initial disclosures. In this case, I only wanna show the, the 4506C forms. I'm gonna scroll down and select them. Let's do a preview of these. And as you can see now, uh, my first 4506C is for my joint borrowers. Both borrowers are listed. The previous address is listed. And it shows the tax form as 1040 for the year 2020. Um, because I'm doing a preview, there is the uh, signatory attest box. You do not need to check that. That automatically gets selected when the disclosures are sent through our system. The next tax form is going to be for the W-2 request for our main borrower. And the last form is going to be the business return request for mortgage company using the employer ID 1120 form for uh, 2020 and 2019. And from here, I would hit send. And that is how you properly complete your 4506C transcript request forms through our Encompass system using the template. Thank you for watching.